For cheap Minecraft hosting, be sure to go ahead and check out Clovex.net. What is going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use track motion in Sony Vegas Pro 11, 12, or 13. Now, this was a highly requested tutorial over the past week of being getting asked to me quite a lot, so I've finally done it. With that being said, if you would like to request a tutorial on Sony Vegas Pro 11, 12, 13, Photoshop, After Effects, or even Cinema 4D, then be sure to leave it in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. Now, of course, to get track motion up itself, we will need a video imported into Sony Vegas. So the video is imported, it's just this sample one right here. Now, it's actually very, very important, track motion is, and it's very useful. So this is track motion right here, simply click it, and this is what will come up. Now from here you can do loads of different things, you can rotate your video, you can position your video, you can resize your video, and there's just loads of features within this. So as you'll see for example, first of all I'm going to be showing you how to resize your video. So you want to make sure you have both of these two checks, lock aspect ratio and scale about center. What this means, as you'll see, scale about center, we're going to drag it in from the side, and it's going to stay in the middle. Now what the other one does, which is lock aspect ratio, you can see it's staying the same size. So if we click off this, you can see we can now make it go in and out like that. So it's better to have it locked. So simply have this on and you can go ahead and position this wherever you want to. So you can close it down a little bit and just position it up there. And if you're wondering how like KSI, Mini Minter or, or those other FIFA YouTubers have their face cam on, this is what they use. They use track motion. I know for a fact they use Sony Vegas because they've shown it many times. And this is what they do. They use track motion. Simply place it in a corner like so. And then they come up here where it says preset and you can save it to whatever you want. So you're going to call this face cam. Press save. Now what this means. So if I just go reset everything right now we've just done. If we come back to track motion and we come here. You can see it's going to say face cam right there. You can see I've got my preset saved. But if we press this, it's going to be the exact same position. So it's very simple like that. So right there, I literally just showed you three in one. I showed you how to resize, I showed you how to position, and I showed you the different features. But in addition to that, how to rotate your video. Well, there's a button right here which says enable rotation. If you have this checked, this little circle is going to come up. So if you simply get this part right here, you can see... You can turn it wherever you want to. So you can turn it left, turn it right. You can have it however you like it. So you can have it wherever you want to. Let's say you want it like that. You can have it like that. And let's say you want it back to normal. You can simply just right click and click restore box. And you can see it's just going to come back to normal like so. So that's how you do rotation. Now another thing you can do is enable snapping. Now what snapping is, as you can see, there are dots on the screen behind this box. And what that means, if you press up on your, if you click here, press up on your keyboard. You can see it's going to snap into places. So that's what snapping does. So if we turn this off, you can see it's simply just free movement like so. And of course you can drag it around with your mouse if you want to. So the next things, let's say you found a good position. So for example, this is a good position. And let's say you only want to move it up or down, but only up and down. So that means you won't be able to go left or right. The way you can do this is simply come into this where it says A and X. And as you can see, I'm trying to move left and right, but it's only going to stay going up and down. Now, you probably guessed it, the one next to it means you can only move it up, well, it means you can only move it left or right. So you can see if I try going up, it's not going to let me, I can only go left or right. Now, moving on to more advanced stuff, I guess, you can have custom height or width. So, you can simply come here and have the video resolution to whatever you would like it to. So, I don't know resolution, so I'm just going to put like 720 by 480. And that's what it's going to look like. And you can see it's changing like that. That's because lock aspect ratio is checked. Now here the X and Y, that's just the position. So again, we can put this at like 20. And we can put this at like 100. And you can see that is how you can move it like there. Below is the angle. So you can change the orientation. So I'll put 50. And that's just the rotation. Here, you also have a rotation folder. So if you come to the X offset and put 50, it's not going to do anything. But if you come to the Y offset and put 80, it's not going to do anything again. You can see it's only changed this part here. And of course you've got the angle so you can have like minus 90. And you can see it's just flipped it the other way. And if you come down you can choose smoothness. So this is completely up to you. You don't have to have it. If I just put it at 50. 
You can't really see a difference, but let's say we put it to like 200. You can see a little bit of difference. The sides smoothen out. Here you can choose a type, so you can see there's different types, so I'll pr press sharp. A little bit of a difference, I'm not too sure if you can see it. And if we press fast, you can see a little bit of movement on the edges. Now the next thing you'll see there's something called workspace. Now this is just dealing with all this. So if you press the plus arrow and we scroll down, this is the zoom. Now what this basically is, zooming into this document. So let's say I put it at 100, it's going to zoom in like that. Of course you can just use the mouse wheel, so you click here, mouse wheel in and out. You can also use this right here, and you can also use this to move it around. And again, the same with the offset and stuff, simply just positioning where you want to work. So let's say 1280, 720. You can see it's just going to take us to that position. Now the final thing here is something called snap settings. So if you press this, this is what you're going to get. Now it says grid spacing. What this means, the dots, the space between them. Now I'm going to leave it the same because I like it how it is. And you got the rotation as well. Again, I'm going to leave it default, but it's up to you. You can mess with it. Now let's say you change these settings and you like them. Come to the preset, call it whatever you want, and simply press save. That way you won't have to remember all the settings. You can simply come here and it'll be there for you. Now if you made a mistake and you don't like it, simply click on it and then press the X right here and it'll get rid of it from there. Now in addition to that, as you'll see, it says position. Position is what we're working with, but we can also add a 2D shadow and a 2D glow. So the glow is going to be more visible, so if we press this, you can see it's going to add a glow to your video. And again, you get all these settings here. Most of them are already covered, the only setting that's new is 2D glow. So you can choose the blur percent, the intensity, and of course the colour itself, simply click it. And this is what you'll get. So say you want red, just like that. And it's a useful way to make an outro. So there's a tip for you. And then on the 2D shadow, you can see if we go ahead and press this, you're going to get the same settings again. The blur percent, intensity, and the color. And again, if you like any of the settings you've done, come up here to preset, call it whatever you want, and press save. Now the final thing in track motion is animating it. So animating it, a little bit more difficult to explain. I'm going to keep it as short as I can and hopefully you still understand it. So, as you can see here, there's something called position, and we're going to animate the position of the video. So, if you have this checked right here, where it says sync cursor, simply come across on your timeline, and what you can do is shorten the video. So, if we come here and just make it smaller, we then come across a couple more keyframes, and let's say we want it to go up here, then a couple more keyframes again, and as you can see, since Sync Cursor is checked, it's also going to be moving on the timeline with us. So let's say I want it on that side this time. And then a couple more frames again. So we'll go about there. I'm going to put it in the bottom right corner this time. So we've just got to move this out of the way. Then I'm going to put this back in the... Just put it a bit more out. Then I'm going to put this one on the left corner and then a couple more keyframes again and I want it full view so I'm going to press restore box so if we go ahead and just watch you're going to get these little dots here that means it's the animated part if you don't like them simply right click them and you can press delete so if we go ahead and play what I just done so first of all we did do that and you can see it should go to the top left then it's going to go to the top right bottom right bottom left and then back to the center I believe so now it's, yep, it's going to the left, now it's going back to full screen, like so. And that is it, that is how simple it is to animate. Hopefully you've been able to understand this video. It was a bit challenging to demonstrate this, I wanted to keep it short, but I also wanted to explain the points precisely so you could understand it. If you didn't understand it, let me know what you didn't understand and hopefully I can remake the video and make it better for you. Like I said at the start of the video, if you would like to request a tutorial on Sony Vegas Pro 11, 12, 13, Photoshop, After Effects or even Cinema 4D, then be sure to leave in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. With that being said, be sure to go follow me on Twitter, I'll keep you updated what I'll be posting and what I'll be posting. Also be sure to go and check out my technology news channel, I'll keep you updated on the latest technology news. And finally be sure to go and add a Snapchat, which be sure to do throughout my day. So yes, been Cameron Sanjay, thank you so much for watching, do subscribe, rate, and peace. Oh, 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 oh,